Dance Fusion Show on TVU with your host and artistic director Marianne Kubler and this week Allie Paul and Amy Livingston. How are you doing Marianne? I'm good thanks. We're back up running classes except for the adults and uh, we're just on a holding pattern and waiting to see what happens with numbers and whatever and we're preparing for the last week in May, we are going to videotape our dances and we're also going to take pictures of the kids. So whatever happens, however we get to finish this year, it will be actually finished. So yay guys, hey, none of the choreography rolls over for another year. Yeah, so that's a bonus. So there we go. So other than that, we're good. That's good. So um, quick question before we... Uh introduce our guests where are you going to do the videotaping i have a couple of options right now and i don't want to say because people will either you know go yay or nay or whatever right now i'm looking at our own big studio michael jackson and i have put out some feelers for draping and lighting and that kind of stuff so that's a possibility then i don't, i save the money of renting another facility but we'll wait and see right there's word that we might be able to get into a theater to videotape as long as there's no audience but you know what i haven't seen anything else on facebook or anywhere so i'm not going to jump on that bandwagon until it's confirmed right understandable understandable yeah. and this week ali and amy i notice you need your mic on ali awesome and usually we give uh, Marianne a little bit of uh, intro opportunity. What do you have to say about uh, Ellie and Amy? Marianne? Well, both of these girls have been at the studio for a considerable length of time um, in our power program, um, doing all the classes associated with the power program. They both did their senior certificate last year. They're both graduates of high school and are in post-secondary training. Um, and both of them teach some preschool for me as well. So kind of keeping it in the family. I know you like to see this alumni back staff, but that's what we do, right? Um, and it's really good because the people that are in charge of the ballet program can watch what these guys are doing and give them some guidance. And uh, then we make sure that everybody's on the same path too. And it's been good for them. It doesn't give them tons of money, but it's... Uh, it's a way to get them into the teaching fold, if that's something that they'd like to do even on a part-time regular basis, right? So, awesome. yeah, I think Allie was five, five when she started, and I was her very first dance teacher. Amy, how old were you when you came? Uh, I was in the fourth grade, so I was about 10, I think. Yeah, she came, so. she came from another school and uh her and her younger sister came to us and have been here ever since so it's sort of like once you get in you can't get out that's good that's good well welcome ali and welcome amy hello hello <laughs> <laughs> that's good that's good well where do you where do you want to start do you uh let, let's talk about where you're uh, what are you doing right now for uh for dance fusion it's exciting you guys have uh sent some uh, uh, video in of what it looks like. So I'll start with you, Allie. What are, what are you doing for Dance Fusion? Um, I teach a few classes. I teach one of our sessionals, which is Parrot and Taught, which is our littlest guys that we have um, from about a year to two years is that class. Um, and then I also teach a couple unparented classes. 
which are full year. So I teach our musical mix, which is our like preschool kindergarten age. And then I teach beginner ballet as well, which is a bit older, but still beginner. That's interesting. I'll, I'm going to ask you a little bit more about the uh, one and two year olds. But Amy, what? We'll get to Amy first. Amy, what? Do you, what are you doing for Dance Fusion right now? Um, I'm there all day Saturday. I really enjoy it actually. Um, I teach professionals. So the first one I teach is a mini ballet, which is just like an introductory. And then I also teach uh, Let's Dance, which is kind of like, um, like it's more about singing and just moving and having fun. Um, all of them are, but that one in particular, I like to do more action songs with that class. And then I have a five-year-old jazz and ballet that runs all year round. And we're working on our dance right now. So that's, that's very fun. They're having a lot of, um, I have nine kids, so it's a lot, especially with just how high their energy is, but I really enjoy it. So. Good. That's good. Now, uh, Allie, you're dealing with a one and two year olds. So are they still coming? They're coming to the studio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. T tell us, tell us about that. What, what's it like for parents? Because, uh, certainly, you know, our community is full of, uh, one and two year olds that probably, uh, would love to come dance. So what, what can, a you know, what is a, what is a family experience when they're, when they're coming with their one and two year old? So it is parent and taught. So not only is the parent in the room, they're really participating in the class. Um, it's really great because obviously they're little, they're not going to listen to me really at all, or they don't do every single move and they don't know how to do all the different dance stuff. So it's more just about getting them moving, getting them introduced to the world of dance and music in general. and. It's a great bonding time because they get to spend that one-on-one -on -one time with their parent and it's just a lot of fun. How, how long does it take for uh, for you to notice as a teacher when a little a little one comes in and, you're, and they are experiencing more sophisticated movement where they start to pick it up and, and you're noticing that they're coming back and they're, and they're getting better? Yeah, so um, a lot of them, it takes them a few weeks to kind of open up. They get really shy um, with all the different kids and all the people in the room. But after a few weeks, they kind of start to know the different songs that we do and they get really excited and they know what the actions are and they follow along, especially they like to copy their parents a lot. And so it kind of teaches them uh, how to move by learning from their parent. So, yeah. And I, I imagine they're making good friends too. Mm -hmm. And they recognize each other, these little ones, of course. Yeah. Like, like, like best friends. So what do they do after they're done with this? You know, so they do it for a year or so. What what, what would a young person then advance to? Um, so they could do a number of our sessional classes, like ones like I and myself and Amy teach as well. So we have like our ones that introduce some more musical theater and ballet aspects. Um, still like very fun, very play centered, but kind of more independence and they can continue moving up until they reach our like ballet and jazz classes. So, so that's, that's what you're doing. Amy. You're doing the uh, five-year-old ballet. Yeah. So I teach that class. It's, we focus on a lot of just like Kind of perfecting the small movements like can do they know the right and left can they show me their good toes versus the bad toes or are they still struggling to not sickle their toes but stretch them so i i really try to treat that class like obviously we have a lot of fun like i provided one of our videos and we do like a banana song at the end of class i think it's like my favorite thing ever but um yeah so i just try to make sure they really are starting to understand what things are like that when we're in a march, we need to point our toe, even though it's against our knee. So, yeah. So I guess, I, you know, I have so many questions about, uh, so the five-year-olds, that's kindergarten go, going into grade one, you know, so they're, they're going into a really highly socialized environment that's requiring more, you know, awareness and ability to move and balance and everything. What, what do you uh, what what do you notice from your uh, your students or what they share back with you that that they're that they're using in, in, in school or you know at their own gymnasium or that kind of feedback I'm interested in. Uh, yeah, so I find 
like when I when my students first come in, I have a break before, so I just all chat to them, and they're like, "Oh, Miss Amy, I was practicing my plies in the playground," and I was like, "Oh, good for you." And she's like, "Yeah, my friends, they're not very good at plies, but I'm trying to teach them." And I think it's just the cutest thing, and they're just I find a lot like Ali and I co-teach last year. And I found that a lot of the students stuck together because like their parents stuck together. But like in this class, it's unparented and the students just come in not knowing anyone and they're just immediately like make new friends. And I think it's like, it's really heartwarming just to see how, even with COVID, how quickly they are to make friends and have a social interaction. What, uh, what What's the most challenging exercise or, or, or movement do you have your class in right now what, what's challenging for you? um i just honestly some of the even the simplest things like skips right now just i think it's just from coming back from zoom in november and just the break skips are like one of the things it's like a combination of a gallop and a march if you think about it so it's just trying to alternate feet, all thinking we need to jump high, not out, right? But also just another thing I've had them start on since the beginning of the year, just because I was like, why not? Especially if we're gonna be on Zoom, I might as well give them more things that we can do as a class in the center. And that's ball changes. We just do ball changes with our hands and our hips. And I'm like, oh, step back, squish your mini marshmallow, and then come back in. And we're trying to add a chasse, but right now it's like a glide across the whole room, but they're getting at it, so. That's so good. That's so good. And you know, you uh, you guys have experienced both of you together a lot through uh, dance fusion. Now, one of the things that came up uh, twice in our pre-show kind of uh, interview was uh, you guys went to Disneyland. Yes, actually, there's a picture back there. <laughs> we went um, on like a trip with a, a bunch of people from the studio, and we got to perform in California Adventure. We did. A, uh, whole set and it was a lot of fun we also got to do like a workshop there with the staff and it was super great experience what what do you remember of it Amy? um i just really like as much as i enjoyed the performing in the really really hot weather i just loved how like close i got with everyone like the older students because we were like kind of we weren't senior yet but we were just starting to transition into senior and like for us i think it was great to have that trip with them then we got to like know them like on a level outside of dance so it was a lot less intimidating when we came in in september in their class and also just like um like making friends with like the younger kids too like little wesley like he was young then and we were like all buddies like it was so much fun that's good that's good and then you guys did a bunch of halftime shows so what, what were you doing that, like you're doing the, like you describe the event um we did a halftime show with Terrell Edwards, so he was singing, and we had, I think it was three numbers, or maybe it was, yeah. Yeah, four, yeah, three or four. Yeah, it was quite a few, and I remember the rehearsal was a lot, and it was a really good halftime show, like, apparently everyone enjoyed it, like, yeah, yeah I, it was a really different experience compared to Disney, and Disney, you're just performing on a stage, and people can come and go as they watch, but if you're at a basketball game, like, you could either go get food or sit and watch us. So you really had to like interact with the audience, which I thought was. I, I'm just interjecting here. Did either one of you guys participate with the Globetrotters halftime? Uh, I did that one, yeah. That one. yeah. So that would have been in Rogers Coliseum or Agriplex? Um, I believe it was at the Expo Center. Expo, Expo yeah. Center, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've, uh, I see I see all the branding for the, the Sting when I go to trade shows and stuff. Like, so. Yeah. Yeah. that's good that's good and you're both uh have you know you're living examples of the positive benefits of uh of dance in your life in your uh academic uh, pursuits amy what, what are you doing for uh post-secondary education um currently i'm at concordia i'm doing a three-year um bachelor of arts with a major in psychology and after i complete that then i'll apply for the two-year education program at concordia yeah. So you, and you'll end up coming out with a uh, dual degrees of uh, psychology and education. Yes. That's fantastic. And Ali, yourself, what are you doing? So I'm at Grant McEwen University right now, and I'm doing my Bachelor of Science in Nursing. What a, what a, great, uh, what a yeah. great field, both of you, to, uh, to be in. Well, you sent a bunch of uh, content, videos, of 
I, depending on what they're like, I'll, I'll pl- splice them into the show, or I'm gonna everything that you sent uh, that will be in the show. I'll, I'll put it at the end. So, uh, anything else you'd like to say, uh, Marianne? Mm, I don't think so. Just <clears throat> the door hangers that you're distributing for us are kind of pushing the preschool program because I think um, those little ones missed out on so much with the COVID shutdown and coming into the studio with their parents or without them, it's um, sort of the beginning of socializing for them. I know that my granddaughter who is in Allie's parent and tots class had not been exposed to other little people her size because of where her birthday fits in and the whole calendar year and whatever. And it was like, who are these little people? It was, it's a challenge for them, right? So um, I think it's beneficial for them psychologically and physically to be active and to be exposed to other kids and other parents and whatever. So I'm happy to be providing that out here. Um, I know a lot of parents like the unparented, but with the COVID restrictions, um, I think when you're five, hopefully you're able to go to the washroom on your own and whatever, and it's not such a big deal. But right now with the restrictions, it's difficult. So having a parented class, I think is beneficial for both the kids and the parents and the teachers, right? Because they don't have to take the time out of the room to run the kids to the washroom. So it's all encompassing. We're trying to do the best we can, so. That's good, and and yourselves, uh... Allie and Amy, what what would you like to say to the community and the people you know that have little ones that are thinking of uh, starting them in dance? Um, I think that it's just such a great opportunity, even if you don't go on to dance for the whole your whole life. Um, having those first few years is really wonderful because it um, helps them learn how to move and how to they learn about their body and they like Marianne said they get to socialize. And it just gives them another outlet outside of, you know, home and school to um, get new experiences. And yourself, Amy. Um, I honestly just, it's all about having fun, especially the preschool levels. And it's just so like no pressure. And I just love it because they just come in excited. Like I know it's challenging with stress and stuff, the higher you get up. But when you're younger, it teaches you fundamental, like, skills you need in life like organization and just like even like Ali said like knowing how your body works and I think it's so important and it's also just a great way to burn energy if I'm being honest like sometimes I'll just throw on some songs back back to back just to burn out all the energy and then they'll go outside in the parking lot with their stickers and they'll just like get in the car and just be quiet so I think it's, I think it's great that's awesome awesome, awesome. <clears throat> the dance fusion show on tvu with your host, Marianne Cooper, and we've had this week, Allie Paul and Amy Livingston. Bye now. Bye. Thanks, girls. She was educated, but could not count to ten. Now she got lots of different horses by lots of different men. And I say, liberation, sons and daughters, the bush is hot, but in the hole is water. Let's go. You put your whole self in.